In this order, we are asked to administer Humalog U100 78 units subcut daily at 7.30 a.m. We need to determine how much we need to administer and what syringe we would use. The first thing to notice is we are talking about Humalog, which is insulin, and it is not just any particular type of interest insulin, it is U100, which specifically tells us that this Humalog has 100 units per 1 ml. So every milliliter of this drug contains 100 units. Now because insulin is often administered at home by the, by the person who needs it, uh, there needed to be a nice and easy way for individuals to administer or calculate and administer the drug themselves. So there are what we call U100 syringes. And these U100 syringes are labeled with units. So, so far in this module, we have seen syringes that measured milliliters. But what we're going to be seeing when we're talking about insulin are syringes that are specifically calibrated for U100. And instead of filling them up to a milliliter count, we're filling them up to a unit count. So what makes that great is when you see U100, you know all we need to do is to figure out, one, how many units you need to administer. So how many units you need to administer. And once you figure out how many units, you need to determine then what syringe you use. And once you have that, you are done. Uh, and because we're dealing with a paper and pencil test and we're not necessarily actually filling syringes, we're also going to want to label and shade those syringes. So let's just answer these two short questions. We know we're dealing with U100, which is important. How many units of U100 do we need to administer? According to this, we need to ad administer 78 units. And now we need to choose the syringe. We know immediately that a 3 milliliter syringe is not appropriate because we're not measuring milliliters. We're measuring units. So now we have 100 units or 50 units. Well, 78 units do not fit in a 50 unit syringe. So I'm going to measure and mark 78 units on my 100 unit syringe. We can see that it goes up by twos, 70 and then 2, 4, 6, 8. So I will draw a line right here at 78. I will specifically write 78 units to let whoever is reading this know that this is what I have marked, 78 units, and I will shade up to that point. The key thing to remember once again is we are dealing with U100. There are no conversions needed when we are dealing with U100. A common mistake is for students to use the 100 units per milliliter, convert it into milliliters, and label a milliliter syringe. That would be inappropriate to do because we have calibrated U100 syringes. If we were dealing with U500 insulin, which we'll see coming up, there's a little bit more we need to do. But let's look at the next example. We see Novolin regular U100 we need to administer 45 units subcut, should only be one subcut, at 7.30. Which syringe do we use and how much do we administer? And we're told what's available to us is U100 and it's units, 100 units per one milliliter. If you want to pause the video now and try this on your own, please do. I'm going to look at this and see I am talking about insulin. It is U100 insulin, and as soon as I see U100, I do not need to do a conversion. So no conversions needed because this is U100. So the first question was how many units do I need to administer? I need to administer 45 units. And then the second question is what syringe? Immediately, I see that this 1 ml syringe is not going to be needed. I need a syringe that measures units. And down here, I have two calibrated U100 syringes. 
and I see here that 45 units, that's going to fit on my 50 unit syringe. So I will shade up to 45 and I will mark 45 units. And that's it.